Good evening, thanks for watching CARIX 5 News at 6. I'm John Madden. Things heated up today as Fruita Hop Works and Book Cliff Home Brew Club hosted the third annual Iron Brew competition, all based on a popular TV show. CARIX 5 News reporter Star Harvey was there to get the first look on the newest brewmaster. Star? The excitement has built up as this one-of-a-kind competition kicked off today. Local brewers showed up with their equipment and no idea as to what they were getting themselves into. Each group purchased a standard brew kit and were then tossed a not-so-typical surprise ingredient as they competed for the Iron Brew title. The heat is on as local brewers team up and compete for their chance at the 2018 Iron Brew title. They usually have a really nice homemade trophy that someone gets to take that home and also have bragging rights. To spice things up, the judges tossed a challenge into the mix. If you've ever watched Iron Chef, it's the same concept. So they have to figure out something to brew with that secret ingredient today. And they have no idea what they're into until they show up. At first, the brewers were thrown a curveball, initially convinced that the secret ingredient was spaghetti only to find out it was something completely different. We decided to go with fresh ginger uh, this time around because with the entire recipe that we have, we're going to get some really solid beers out of the caliber of brewers that we have today. For the past two years, Lon Wilkinson has taken the Iron Brew title. This year, more than a dozen other brewing teams, including the Bookcliff Brunettes, showed up in full competition spirit, ready to make a toast to a first place win. Definitely didn't win last year, deservedly so, but this year I think I've got a really good team. They are bringing something a little different in the hopes to dethrone Wilkinson. We already have a plan, we've got a great recipe, now we just need a fabulous name and everything to go right. While these experienced brewers are competing for that number one spot, the organizers say the best part of the competition is to see their concoctions. It's, it's fun to watch them trying to, trying to sort through the whole thing and see who's going to come up with what. And while this is a friendly competition... There's still that, that competitive edge that everybody loves to just kind of one-up each other in some way, shape or form. The brewers spent most of the day competing and the competition followed up with a taste test. The annual Iron Brew Champion will be crowned next year in January. First on the Western Slope, Star Harvey, KREX 5 News. Definitely a cool event and Star, thanks for not getting hammered during that story as well.